Hey, what's going on? Coach Powers here. It's been way too long since I've posted on this channel, so hope everything is going great with you. Uh, my wife and I were really fortunate to have our first child over the last year, so it's been a blast chasing a little Hank the Tank around. But that's where a lot of my time has been spent, so obviously not as much on here. Uh, but in this video, I think this is something that you're really going to like, uh, covering what you do pre at bat routine. So if you're a coach, if you're a hitter, uh, if you're a parent, this is just really good information for your hitter to be following before they step up to the plate. They have more confidence, more mentally prepared, and ultimately leading to more success. So this was something that I used uh, when I was playing, uh, you know, minor league baseball when I was playing at Mississippi State. Uh, you know, facing guys like Trevor Bauer, Dallas Keuchel, Chris Sale, things like that. It's just a really good routine to have down before you step in the box. Hey, what's going on? Coach Powers here, and today what we're going to work on is your mental routine before you hit the ball, before you get in the box. Right, and so what I want you to do, we're going to do a couple things. Everybody has a little bit of a different routine. I'm going to take you through what mine was to help you try to discover yours or what's really going to help. All right, so when I, would, uh, when I would be on deck, first of all, the first thing I would do, I would go back in my head to a ball that I absolutely crushed. It was against Corpus Christi. Uh, there's a left-handed pitcher throwing through about you know, 90 or probably 88 to 90. It was probably about 88 the pitch I hit, but it was a little bit elevated. A uh, fastball I hit it probably about 475 feet. So I would just go back in time fix this cord real quick. I'll go back in time and visualize what that moment was like, the way the ball looked as it came in, right? So load, stride, separate, getting my swing on time, taking the best swing that I possibly could. And I'd be visualizing all of this in the on-deck circle to remind myself, to give myself confidence. Where this is really important to do this in the on-deck circle is especially if you've had maybe a rough couple of games lately. Maybe your last at bet you struck out. This is a reminder, this is a way to build confidence, to remind yourself that, hey, I have done it before, I can swing the bat well, you know, I am a good hitter, when you get back in the box, because baseball is a very, very tough game, it is a game of failure, right? And so when you get, when you're in the on-deck circle, it's important to remind, my, to remind yourself to give yourself confidence, right? So that's number one, on-deck circle, make sure that you're visualizing. Two, okay, when you walk up to the plate, assess the situation, and then, real, then to basically look for the pitch that you're trying to hit, okay? So, uh, for example, let's say it's late in the game, runner on second, nobody out. You're obviously looking to drive the guy over. Okay, you're looking for a pitch then on the outer half to hit the other way, All right? So step one, and you're gonna go through this 10 times, it's slow. The reason why we're doing this is so that when you get in the game, it is a habit. You wanna build this habit as you get in the game. Number one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna act like you're in the on-deck circle. You're gonna visualize yourself having success. Okay, visualize that at bat, visualize that ball you crush. Two, you're gonna walk up, make up any situation, nobody on, no outs. I'm looking for pitches in the middle of the plate. Okay, I'm looking for a pitch that I can drive, looking for a fastball out over the middle of the plate that I can hit back through the middle. All right, and so just working on those couple of things as you get ready and get prepared, then you can take your swing. Okay, the third thing, third and final thing, right? So number one, you're gonna visualize your ground deck. Number two, when you walk up, make up any sort of situation doesn't matter what it is. Three, you're gonna stare at a point on your bat. Pick, you can pick the label, you can pick here. And basically what you are doing there is you are redirecting your focus and stare at one piece on your bat to get your eyes to be still. When you do that, it directs your attention to the moment in time. So if you have anything going on in your head that's, you know, you're a little bit anxious, you're worried about failing. Oh God, what happens if he throws a slider? Oh God, what if I don't get a hit here? Any of that stuff. What you're gonna do is when you have one foot out of the box, you're gonna clear your head by staring at a part on your bat. Okay, now, once you feel clear, you don't have anything going through your head, step in the box, nothing is going on in your mind, your mind is clear, you're simply in a state of mind where you can react to that pitch. Now, I want you to go through this 10 times. It should take you about 90 seconds to two minutes each time you do this. Okay, so it's really important to go through that visualization process to go through, you know, addressing that situation just like you would in a game, to go through clearing your head before you get in the box to make sure you're ready to go. Now, this isn't maybe as tangible as, you know, firing away and hitting 30 balls, but I can tell you practicing this will make a huge difference when you get in the game, especially at the, in those big moments. So if you're somebody who wants to perform well uh, when there's bases loaded, if you're somebody who wants to perform well in quote unquote clutch situations, Give this all of your attention, every bit of your attention that you have today.